And I know she'll be the death of me, at least we'll both be known And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young This I know, yeah, this I know She told me don't worry Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me makeup look. I always tend to do this makeup whenever I have like special occasions or whenever I'm doing any makeup for Instagram and I'm taking any photos. So you can call it my go-to glam makeup look. I'm not also going to be showing you guys like how I do my makeup, but my favorite products of all times. This is just the things that I personally like and work for me as well. So stay tuned and I'm gonna set the video right now. First thing is first, this is the Maracuja oil. It is from Tarte Cosmetics. That's what it looks like. I love this oil. It is beautiful, it doesn't leave that like oily feeling on your face it actually absorbs into the skin um and i just love putting it on when i'm doing like a full face of makeup and i don't know if it's meant for this but i feel like it makes my makeup last quite a long time so what i do is i just do like one or two drops i rub it into my hands like so when i went to makeup school i was always told whenever you massage anything into your skin make sure you do it inwards so what I like to do is I just like brushing my eyebrows first, like I always set with my eyebrows. I feel like they just give me like really good canvas to work on once I do my eyebrows. And the next product I'm going to be using is just a Locket Concealer by Kat Von D. Be careful with this part because it's really, really easy to get makeup on your eyebrows. This is my first makeup video, so bear with me. I will work on these angles, you guys. I promise. And I'm going to be using this palette. This is the Rose Gold Edition palette. This is by Huda Beauty. I just used this shade here. And that one is in Suede. Suede, which is like a nice grayish off brownie shade and it's so good if you have an eyebrow shade like mine which is almost like an off black definitely don't recommend for you guys to use like a black eyeshadow because it's just too harsh and i have a little scar on the top of my eyebrows so what i do is i just like to hide it just make sure you go back if you need to like clean anything up Next step is I love applying my foundation with my beauty blender and I'm going to be using Makeup Forever Fix and Spray. I am loving this product. I actually used to use the Studio, the MAC Studio Spray, but this one I love. It's just as good and it's not too heavy on the skin. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this foundation before. It's just from Makeup Forever. And this is the color that I use. And this is pretty much how I applied my foundation. What I'm doing is I'm just like doing dabbing motions. And I've already wet my beauty sponge as well, so... I know you're probably like, why are you putting makeup around her eyes? This is just the way I do it, you guys. I'm not saying you should do your makeup, but it works for me. And just make sure you take your time and blend it out. Anyways, you know what foundation I really want to try? I really want to try the Fenty Foundation by Rihanna. I've tested it on my hand and it looks really bomb. Like, I really want to make sure you blend on your neck. I'm going to be using an eyeshadow base. This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just going to be putting this on my lid. And what this is going to do, this is going to stop any eyeshadow from creasing. It's going to keep your eyeshadow on for longer. The colors are just going to come out looking super pretty. The next step that I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go in with my eyeshadow. And I'm using the shade, which is Henna. What I'm doing is I'm literally just do, putting this on my crease and I am blending it out 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change my brush and I'm gonna use a little brush that looks like this it's called a crease brush and I'm gonna go in with the color cocoa and this is from the Huda Rose Gold Edition palette as well and with cocoa what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus this on the outside of my eye just make sure that you're careful and you just add it gradually and then I'm just gonna go back with that henna shade and just make sure everything looks nice and smooth I'm gonna leave the blending just for a little bit so far this is what we've got and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with a more of a flat brush so it looks like that and I'm gonna go in with this shade which is bay and then I'm gonna mix it with that one but I'm gonna start up with bay first and this is pretty much just gonna go into the corner of my eye and I'm just gonna be putting that color under my eyebrow and I'm just gonna be doing the moon dust as well this one has a little bit more shine so it's really pretty it looks really nice in photos and then just applying that in my inner corner okay next step what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be going in with melon this is from Mac cosmetics it just looks like that and it is beautiful you guys it looks so nice as a highlighter as well and I'm just gonna be putting it just here and I'm just gonna be going back in with henna just make sure that I blend it at the edges I'm just gonna clean it up as well with a tissue and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a mascara and I will be right back. All right guys, so I've put on my eyelashes. I really like these lashes. They're really pretty. They're like my go-to lashes. They're just like super long and beautiful and wispy. Okay, so once I've got my lashes on, once I've got my eyeshadow on, what I like to do is I go with um, concealer under my eyes. So as you know, I haven't applied any concealer under my eyes since um, I only put it around my eyebrows. So this is how I pretty much apply my concealer. I think I can hear that freaking cricket again, you guys. Just on the high points of the face. And what I like to do is I just go in with my um, beauty sponge and I just blend it out. And the reason why I got after eyes so I can clean up anything around the eyes that fell from the um, eyeshadow. Okay, so next step is contouring. My favorite, all time favorite, like contour product at the moment is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, and it's in this shade Truffle. And I don't like to use too much, it just pretty much looks like that. What I do is I just put it like right here, right here, here, here. And I use it to contour my nose as well using a flat brush like this just to blend it out. This one is by So Eva. It's called the Buffing Definer Brush. Oh, I love the way my eyes look right now. So after you've done a bit of cream contouring, you want to bake. So I'm going to be using this. This is my baby. This is the Kat Von D Translucent Powder. It is freaking bomb, you guys. I'm pretty much doing is I'm just baking under my eyes. This is really good if you know if you've got a really long night ahead of you, you've got a long day ahead of you. This helps your makeup stay in place and it just keeps any shininess away as well. Now I look a little bit crazy, but pretty much what you want to just leave it for a little bit, and in the meantime, I use my dry powders. Contour kit light to medium. You can see it is by Anastasia. It's a little bit beat up, but I love this. And I normally use this to contour to give me definition, but I normally use this shade to bronze me up. So I'm gonna go in with the middle shade here. 
I like to use it if you're wondering why I put it here. It's because it makes my jawline appear sharper and more defined. And I pretty much just followed a number three. So I'm like one, two, three from the top of the eye. Like double chin, double chin, double chin, double chin. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, it's coming together. Okay, I'm going to teach you a really good trick. Since we've got the powder that we used earlier lying around, just grab a little bit on the tip of your um, sponge and just clean underneath like so. This gives you a sharp look. What you're going to do is just grab a powder brush, this powder brush from So Eva. And I'm just going to be brushing under my eyes. Okay, so normally after this, because the powder is a little bit lighter, I'm like, oh, I need a bit of more color. And I love this product. I'm sure there's a lot of like duplicates you can get online or from makeup stores. But I've used this product. It lasts for a really long time. It's Gold Deposit. And look how beautiful it is. I'll swatch it for you guys. And I'm just going to use another little brush like this. We're going to contour this baby. And for that I use a special brush. I use this brush. And I'm going to be using that middle shade back from the contour palette that I showed you guys earlier. And this is exactly what I did to my nose. I'm going to go in with my baby, which is this. I use this all the time. This is what it looks like. And it's in the color, it's in the shade Oh Darling. It is freaking beautiful. I'm just going to grab some on the tip of my finger and put it on my nose. Up here. I'm going to be putting blush on. If you spray your brush with like a setting spray, it would look amazing. Okay, so we're not done. We are forgetting the under eyes. So I'm going to go in with Henna. There's two shades here. Henna and Sandalwood. And I'm just going to dab. Like, I'm just literally going to do that. Okay, and then what I like to do is I put a little bit of um, under and mascara. Just be careful with this part. I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite lip combo. It's in World. And this one is Venus. This is like my go-to nude lipstick. I am obsessed. And this is like a liquid lipstick. So guys, this is the finish makeup look for most of my pictures on social media I do this makeup look I think it's really really pretty I um, it also photographs super well I hope that this sort of get ready with me glam makeup tutorial was somewhat helpful if you want more information on exactly what products i'm using i am going to list everything in the description box down below so make sure that you check that out as well if you just want to see um, also if you have any suggestions for future videos please please leave your comments in the comment section below as well i would love to hear from you so once again i hope you enjoy this makeup look i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching this video Bye.